Captain Picard's Day Off by Some Guy Read by Some Gal Chapter 1 Captain Picard had a very stressful week commanding his subordinates. Now why did you do that? We just got rid of the damn things, he shouted. They're just so soft and fluffy, Captain, said Data, tribble in hand. You should take the day off, Captain, said Q, appearing behind Captain Picard. Your insolent human mind can't take the pressure. I think you'll find there is no pressure here, Q, said Picard as a tribble climbed up on his shoulder. Ugh, but perhaps you're right. I could use a day off while everyone clears out these damn things again. Number one, you're in charge while I'm away. Yes, Captain. And don't let anyone bother me. Yes, Captain. So the captain went off on his merry way. They're covering out here already, he shouted, storming off to his cabin. Ah, finally, he said, sitting down to his Earl Grey tea. After his tea, he made his way to the holodeck, where he rode his favorite horse, Montague. Played in a ball pit, <laughs> and finally relaxed with a book. Hello, Captain, said the Boar Queen as she entered the deck. Jean-Luc swiftly chucked his book aside and said, Oh, hello, my queen. How are you? Oh, you know, just shh, she interrupted, softly touching his lips. Come with me. Enchanted by her beauty, Jean-Luc did as she said. Meanwhile, back at the bridge. I just wonder why we don't kill them, said Worf, bringing his kill machine over to Commander Riker. I suppose it couldn't hurt just to try, said Commander Riker. It's not like they're endangered or anything. Space PETA probably won't come after us. Yes, said Worf. Excited as he could be. I'm gonna go get my killing hat, he added. Hey, said he. I hope the captain's enjoying his day off, said O'Brien. Now I can finally slit your throat, said the bored queen as she touched a blade to the captain's throat. I should have just dealt with the tribbles, said Jean-Luc. Pew pew! Oh, war, thank goodness. Hey, you're ruining it, said the Borg Queen before making a swift escape. Welcome back, Captain, said Riker as Picard entered the bridge. Did you have a nice day off? Fuck off, number one. Did I mention the party? Said Q as he started to do the 1990s white people dance churning the cauldron. No, said Picard, after a long pause. Too late, said Q. It's done. 